Bob Ballard. When I was a kid growing up in San Diego, I was terrified of roller coasters. There was an old wooden one near my house, so unfortunately going on it was a rite of passage I simply couldn't avoid. I'll never forget that click, click, click as that cart headed up to the top. Watching our next film brought back a lot of old feelings, mostly in my stomach. In the shadow of Utah's Wasatch Mountains, a strange new shape rises from the mud. It's a radical new creation called the Pipeline. Built of fiberglass and steel, it's a multi-million dollar thrill machine. For three years, designer Ron Toomer and his staff have been dreaming and planning. Now, they're just days away from finding out. Will it work? Will it be the latest in a long line of contraptions that have been shaking up Americans for years? come from all over to experience coasters like the Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California. Man, thumbs up. Awesome. On it. That was great. You're in the front. You just kind of, there's a couple of just small ones. You just go yeah, up, almost up off here. the track. And then, and then you just land down and you keep going. Right. <laughs> I know, I'm just walking around, just eating. <laughs> I think there's a basic part of our personality that loves excitement, that loves to be scared, all the way from when we were infants and our parents would uh, toss us up a little bit and catch us, and we would uh, scream with joy. Randy Geisler is the former president of the American Coaster Enthusiasts. I think there's part of our psyche that seeks adventure, that wants to push it a little bit to the edge. And roller coasters offer that kind of excitement in a very safe, controlled environment. Very few of us will get the opportunity to go skydiving or race car driving or bobsledding. But a good roller coaster combines all of those kind of elements in a two-minute adventure that's in a magnificent structure, that's an architectural masterpiece, an engineering marvel. To me, what's not to love about roller coasters? Roller coasters actually go back to the 15th century. The Russians built these magnificent winter slides, toboggan attractions that featured steep drops and hills. They loved these so much that they said, why don't we build these in the summertime as well? And instead of making them out of snow and ice, they built them out of wood. And that's kind of where the concept for a roller coaster came from. The first roller coaster here in America opened in 1884 at Coney Island in New York, and it was a huge success. Roller coasters just took off from then.
actually some technological advances that were necessary before roller coasters could really hit their heyday. The biggest one was the idea of putting wheels underneath the track, which didn't occur until 1912, and that allowed cars to stay on the track. With that kind of technological advance, coasters did take off to the golden age, where by 1930 we had over 1,500 roller coasters in the United States. They were fantastically popular. Hooked up, it looks like. Marrying an old tradition with new technology, yeah, pipeline okay. inventor Ron Toomer is creating the next generation of roller coasters. A former aerospace engineer, he is among the pioneers of the new steel mega coasters. In the past three decades, Toomer and his company, Arrow Dynamics, have built over 80 roller coasters from Jakarta to Sandusky, Ohio. I think there's nothing more satisfying to me, and I would assume anyone else, an engineer, whatever you are, that does something, and then you get to go out and watch all these hundreds of thousands of people riding this thing, and coming back, they're cheering and yelling and screaming all over the place how great it is, and uh, it means quite a bit. Tumor's coasters have taken their place among the world's most frightening rides. and his company have designed all sorts of pretzels and corkscrews and loops. But the pipeline is a fiendishly new concept with a whole new level of design challenges. Twisting and turning and snaking through space, the pipeline coaster will ride neither on top of nor below the tracks, but between them. And the cars will not just loop, but roll like stunt planes. A coaster that can uh, go down the track and rotate about this axis 